Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Monday, August the 23rd, 2010. Well, a continuation of the trend to the downside today, and we have a candle with a lower high and just making a lower low today. So uh, a potential continuation of the trend moving down to test the support area down around uh, the cloud around 12.12 or around 12.15 where the Tenkan Sen is trading at. Not a very bearish day today. We have an indecisive uh, type candle. This is a uh, almost a doji type candle, a spinning top type candle. And that denotes indecision. And uh, it's a very indecisive day because we have the open and the close roughly within the middle of the candle and around the same area. So neither the bulls nor the bears made any net bullish nor bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. And we also have the large shadow on the top and the bottom which represents downside price rejection and upside price rejection. So a very big battle between the bulls and the bears today. Now uh, this area around 12.27 we highlighted previously was holding as a potential area of support and resistance and in this case the market has only just traded through there. Um, it's uh, been very difficult for the market to trade uh, around this area and the buyers have come in as the market attempted to trade down below there. So. Uh, for any potential continuation of the trend to the downside, we should be watching the low of the current candle down around 12.22 for a potential continuation of the uh, lower highs and lower lows. Certainly, if we see a, a close that's decently below the 12.27 area, then there may be potential for the market to test the cloud down below. Now, if the market does trade down, then the cloud around this area is very thin, so there is potential for the market to break through that cloud and change from being a market with an overall positive bias because it's trading up above the cloud to one that has an overall negative bias. So the sentiment in the long term can change very quickly. Now the market is trading up above the Kijun Sen, the pink line here, and the Tenkan Sen, and that represents the market being bullish in the medium term time frame and the fast term time frame. Both of those indicators offer potential support for this market if it does come off. So we mentioned earlier the 12.15 area, but then if the market does trade down through the cloud, then certainly the area at 11.96, which is close to the 1,200 round number, has potential to offer support for the market. Interestingly, the Kijun Sen has turned flat, and when that turns flat, it tends to be an attractive price action, and that's what's happening here. We have the market uh, in a first time frame downtrend, so there is potential for the market to uh, be attracted back towards that level and continue to come off to a degree. Uh, as we've said, though, there are areas where there may be potential support offered, although not terribly strong, although the tank and scene uh, will be the first area, obviously, 12.15. To the upside, the market will need to close up above 12.27 and then uh, trade up above the swing high at around 12.38 to 12.40 for any potential uh, assault on the highs up around the 12.65 area. Uh, there has been some decent uh, downside price rejection from uh, around this 1240 region. So the market will be, need to be fairly bullish, but um, because we have this indecisive type candle, we don't have the bears following through with the lower high and lower low. There is potential for that change of trend. So we do need to watch the high of the current candle for a potential higher high and higher low over the next few days. Mm -hmm.